Hello and welcome to my mini review of the new Pokemon anime series. Today I'm going to be talking about episode 4, Let's Go to the Galar Region, an encounter with Scorbunny. This episode shows us the first glimpse of the Galar Region in the new series. This episode didn't really do too much in terms of overall story for the series. We still don't really know if Ash is going to be taking on gyms ever again or compete in a league. Comparing this to other regions, at this point in the story in every region, Ash would have caught a brand new Pokemon by now, but as it stands he's still just with Pikachu, which is interesting. The main focus of the episode was around Go and Scorbunny's relationship. I really enjoyed the backstory of Scorbunny, it tried to fit in with the Nicket by covering itself in dirt and becoming a real leader for them. Until it met Go it didn't want anything else but to steal people's food, but Go taught Scorbunny some lessons in showing compassion towards others. I think it's pretty obvious that Go will eventually catch Scorbunny. I'm surprised it didn't happen in this episode. We have a really weird situation right now with Pikachu being the only owned Pokemon by both main characters. So when the pair get into a tough situation, they'll struggle more if Pikachu is unavailable to battle. Whereas in previous regions, Ash would just send out another powerhouse to deal with the problem. I'm really interested to see what Ash's first new Pokemon will be. I kind of hope he gets a Sobble, I feel like that would fit his personality quite well. I would also like him to catch a regional bird again and get the Rookity. This episode introduced two new Pokemon to the anime being Scorbunny and Nickit, but they also introduced a few concepts from the games, such as the wild area which was mentioned. It seems that Ash and Go are going to head there next episode. In the preview we see a Gigantamax Snorlax, which looks awesome. The episode also kind of introduced our first new character from Sword and Shield being Professor Magnolia. She was seen on the Rotom phone screen, where Ash was being told about her and the Gigantamax phenomenon. I'm really glad that we didn't get another Snivy vs Pikachu situation. Ash battled against the Score Bunny and just one shot at it so easily. I'm happy that Ash seems to be a champion tier trainer still. This episode ends with Ash and Go heading to the world area on the train. Score Bunny starts to follow them, so we know that Go will most likely capture it in a future episode. I just hope they don't leave it too long because it feels a bit empty not having many Pokemon around our main characters, and Score Bunny with its bashful personality would be a good addition. Overall, there's not really much else to say about this episode. It was decent, it had some nice shots of the Galar region, Windentown train station looked identical to the games, which was nice, and we also got a funny scene at the start of the episode with Mr. Mime as well. I would give this episode a 7 out of 10. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode, what would you rate it out of 10? Thank you for watching, I hope you did enjoy, if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.